वेलकम टू फैक्ट लेक्चर टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज कंट्रोलेबल सीरीज कंपनसेशन टिल डेट वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक ऑफ सीरीज कंपनसेशन बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ द सीरीज कंपनसेशन देन एडवांटेज ऑफ सीरीज कंपनसेशन इन व्यू ऑफ ट्रांजिएंट स्टेबिलिटी इंप्रूवमेंट वोल्टेज स्टेबिलिटी एंड पावर सोल्यूशन टुडे वी विल सी Uh, what are the different approach are there to control the variable admittance so basically there are two method one is to control the admittance of capacitor or inductor which is connected either in series or in shunt for the shunt compensation and for series is a series compensation and second uh, second method uh, to use the switching converter switching converter base uh, for uh, synchronous uh, Uh, voltage source is a controllable synchronous voltage source so this is two approaches are there one is the thyristor switched capacitor or it may be a thyristor controlled reactor those are connected in uh, by uh, changing the admittance or by varying the admittance of the uh, circuit and second is to use the switching uh, operation or switching converter and by switching converter it is possible to generate the synchronous voltage or uh, which is uh, uh, synchronized with the line voltage and that is a voltage source instead of the current source are there for the shunt compensation now what is the difference uh, between shunt compensation and series compensation uh, because it is very uh, much necessary to understand what is the basic uh, uh, idea between shunt and series to under to understand very well the series compensation now the series compensator is a reciprocal of the reciprocal of the shunt compensator the shunt compensation first we'll see this is the say transmission line is there and in case of line we have connected a shunt compensator over this one and under shunt compensator it inject the current it inject the inductive current uh, at the point at the uh, point where it is connected either it may be a mid point shunt compensation or it may be a load compensation when it is a radial line the shunt compensator is a functionally control reactive current source which is connected in parallel with the transmission line to control its voltage finally we are going to control the voltage we are going to maintain the voltage of transmission line which is quite same from the sending end to the receiving end and it uh, is the source of reactive current and it is connected in parallel whereas for the series compensator it is functionally a controlled voltage source this is the controlled voltage source no doubt it is a synchronized with the transmission line here it is a controlled reactive current here is a voltage source which is connected in series with the transmission line to control its current so what how it is say this is the transmission line and here it is connected the compensator series compensator over this one so it will inject the variable voltage that variable voltage either it may be the switching converter base or it may be a uh, variable uh, admittance types therefore the operation of shunt compensator is viewed from the perspective of the transmission voltage and that of the series compensator perspective of the line current so definitely when we are controlling the line current the power handling capacity of the transmission line can be increased very well as compared to the shunt compensation no doubt with the shunt compensation the transmittable uh, ability of the power transmission line is going to enhance but the enhancement of the power handling capacity is very well and it is a very much controllable with the help of series compensator now first we'll see the variable impedance type series compensator which just uh, discussed there are two types one is the switching converter type and second is the uh, variable impedance type now in the variable impedance type first we will consider the gto thyristor control series capacitor so this is the first one this we are going to consider now as it is a series compensator so now we are going to connect a capacitor in series with the transmission line and a switch G gto is connected in parallel anti -par parallel uh, with the capacitors so uh, this is a, this compensator scheme is integrating in that it is a perfect combination 
or well established thyristor control so high it is because we have seen that there is a thyristor control reactor whereas for the capacitor thyristor switch capacitor we are using capacitor in the in the form of steps the control of capacitor in the form of step in case of the shunt uh, compensation whereas the thyristor is going to control in a smooth manner in case of thyristor control reactor so similarly here the capacitor is smoothly controlled or the voltage across the capacitor is smoothly controlled with the help of gto so see this is the diagram basic diagram this is the current and this is the voltage across capacitor that we see we are going to our intention is to, uh, is to control the uh, this voltage vc with the help of jto so this is connected in anti parallel now jto is going to trigger at the peak value of line current so this is the peak value of line current and here the delay angle turn off delay angle so see this is the difference here instead of uh, say calling turn on delay angle this is the turn off delay angle why because it is uh, uh, say we can say that it is the uh, anti logic we are applying as compared to the thyristor control reactor thyristor uh, switch capacitor which we have already learned in the shunt compensation isn't it so here the uh, turn off delay angle is equal to zero means turn off delay angle is equal to zero therefore the voltage across capacitor is the rated voltage it's a it's a rated voltage under such condition it means that this switch is off this switch is off when this switch is off the voltage across capacitor is equal to the its rated voltage whereas when jto is turned on means it is in the conducting the current is going to bypass from this one and therefore the voltage across capacitor is equal to zero this is the case so now here the turn off delay angle is equal to this gamma so therefore the voltage across capacitor get decreases so here the voltage across capacitor is maximum whereas the voltage across capacitor is get decrease and why it is decrease because of the turn off delay angle isn't it so here it is a turn off delay angle is there so same it can be understand with the help of negative half cycle now here the turn off delay angle is equal to zero so the voltage across capacitor is equal to its rated value whereas the turn off delay angle is here gamma 1 the voltage across capacitor will going to decrease and so on so here the voltage across voltage across capacitor is smoothly controlled so therefore it is called as uh, similar to the thyristor controlled reactor so now what is that the object of uh, get uh, jto thyristor control series capacitor uh, the voltage the this is the control the ac voltage across the capacitor at given line current so whatever the given line current is there this is line current over there and we want to control the voltage across the capacitor this is our main objective when jto wall is closed means this wall is closed is closed that is a conducting the voltage across capacitor is equal to zero now say this voltage this is closed say just i will draw uh, equivalent circuit to understand very well this is the voltage across capacitor vc this is the current i and here this is the switch this is the jto switch when it is closed what happened the current is going to divert from here and voltage across capacitor become is equal to zero so when jto wall is closed the voltage across capacitor is equal to zero and when the wall is open this wall is open over this one the voltage across capacitor will be maximum so this is the on off condition and whereas if you control the delay angle turn off delay angle under such condition the voltage across capacitor is going to change however the turn off instant of the wall in each half cycle is controlled by the turn off delay angle this is 
somewhat opposite which we have already learned in the shunt compensation okay so the turn off by controlling the turn off delay angle this turn off delay angle it is possible to control the voltage across capacitor now what is voltage across capacitor this is the injected voltage across capacitor which is opposite to the voltage drop across the reactance and total effective reactance of the transmission line is going to reduce which will give the this power handling capacity p is equal to e1 e2 or say instead of this one we write p is equal to v square upon 1 minus k into s effective into sin delta which we have this is the equation which we have already discussed in the basic of the uh, series compensator okay referring this figure when the line current and the capacitive voltage are shown at wall open when the wall is open what is the voltage voltage when the wall is open the voltage across the capacitor will be maximum and turn of delay angle the positive and negative half second so in the positive half second and for the negative half second uh, which is shown over this one so this is the positive half second and this is the negative half second whereas the third figure this figure shows continuous variation of the turn off delay angle by turn off delay angle it is possible to uh, change smooth change in the voltage across capacitor when the wall is open the crisp that is the maximum line voltage the uh, resultant capacitor voltage will be same and obtain the steady state uh, uh, switch operations over this one so this is the case over this one now see uh, the some again same diagram we are referring that is the turn off delay angle define the blocking angle turn off delay angle which is this is turn off delay angle it is define the blocking angle so what is the blocking angle thus the turn off delay angle increase the corresponding increase offset result in the reduction of the block angle so just as soon as you increase this turn off delay angle whatever this is this is the blocking one why it is blocking when we turn off it over this one the voltage across capacitor will be there isn't it now it is clear that the magnitude of capacitor voltage can be varied continuously by this method of turn off delay angle control from its maximum to zero so what is the condition either the turn off delay angle is zero is greater than omega um, and it is pi by two. so this is the range over which we it is possible to control the voltage across capacitor now controlling the voltage across capacitor is nothing but the variable impedance we are inserting a variable impedance that is 1 minus k into x equal okay so this is the total reactance which is in the denominator so by varying this effective reactance uh, it is possible to increase the power handling capacity of the transmission line okay so this is the case now second is the thyristor switch series capacitor now instead of uh, uh, smooth control over the capacitor voltage uh, it is possible into the steps so this is the basic diagram this is the current that this is a transmission line this is the transmission line over this one now instead of using the jto here we are using the thyristor switch so as it is a thyristor switch either it is a conducting or it is turn on so when it is conducting the voltage across capacitor is equal to zero if it is conducting the voltage across capacitor c v2 is equal to zero and so on and by switching off the number of capacitor is going to insert in the transmission line it consists of a number of capacitor each shunted by a appropriate rated bypass wall composed of the string reverse in parallel connected as per the its capacity which already discussed the number of thyristor may be connected in series and may be connected in parallel to obtain the voltage rating and the current ratings are there now the degree of series compensation is controlled at step minor 
so it is not a smooth manner here the voltage across capacitor is going to either it may be its rated value or either it may be a uh, say uh, it is equal to the zero value so therefore the uh, operation or the control over the uh, number of capacitor in the step like manner a capacitor is inserted by turn off this is very important turn off as soon as you turn off this um, thyristor, definitely when this turn off, the current is going to flow from the capacitor and voltage across capacitor is going to appear. And as soon as it is turned on, this capacitor can be bypassed by turn on. As soon as this is the turn on, the current is going to flow from this shunted part. So now the capacitor is not come into the uh, circuit or we can say that uh, there is no capacitor uh, inserted in the uh, series with the transmission line. So this is way by which uh, the, the value of capacitor or effective reactance of the transmission line can be controlled in a smooth manner with the help of GTO and it can be controlled in a step manner with the help of thyristor switch series capacitor. So this is uh, under such conditions, say for example, we have taken one, this is the voltage across capacitor, this is the current and this is the switch manner. Now, this is the current when the switch is on, when switch is on, the current is going to flow from here. Therefore, the voltage across capacitor is equal to zero. So voltage across capacitor is equal to zero up to this on condition. Okay. So the thyristor wall commuted naturally, that is the it turns off when the current crosses to zero. As soon as it crosses to zero, it is going to turn off. Thus, a capacitor can be inserted into the line by thyristor wall only at zero crossing of the line current. This is, we have already discussed that in the shunt compensation, the thyristor, the capacitor is going to switch at the appropriate value. Otherwise, it will give the transient in the, it will give switching transient. To avoid switching transient, the capacitor either it is switched on to its maximum voltage, positive peak or negative peak. So therefore, the capacitor uh, switch control is there. In order to minimize the surge current, that is the surge current uh, in the wall, the corresponding transient circuit, the thyristor wall would be turned on for bypass only when the capacitor voltage is zero. So either we are going to switch over this one or either going to switch over this one when the capacitor voltage across capacitor is equal to zero. So this is the uh, two methods. That is this two method is the uh, variable impedance uh, type series compensation. So next point we'll see in the next lecture.